I have a bunch of stuff right here that's all rusted and shit. Yeah, this one right here. Uh, this thing right here that I'm... This clamp. Let me get it off. This clamp right here that I'm using. It's all fucking rusted. It's kind of disgusting. So I decided, you know what? Why don't I make a video on Electrochem and try and remove the rust? Um, then you can see all that in there. I did a test run. I'm just gonna dip this in here. Piece of shit, there's not enough water. You wanna fill it up with water. So that it covers the thing that you wanna remove the rust from. I'm using distilled water because that's probably what you want to use. We also have to we also have to add electrode. I'm just using this um, washing soda. It's what it's called. It's just sodium carbonate. Just it around. You don't have to use too much. I probably just used too much right there. Well, I'm we're gonna do this for two reasons. First reason. I want uh, iron oxides and hydroxides because I want to make a video on thermites. And the second reason, because th this is disgusting and I hate rust. So this right here, here me, that's my shitty power supply. It's just a, a laptop transformer. I made this connection right here. Uh, the red is the cathode, the cathode wire, and the white is the anode wire. So I was about to connect them correctly, actually. So this is a, this is what we want to remove the rust from. That that should be our anode. It's just really quickly. Fuck. Probably should have grabbed the paper clip or something to connect that. Um, just connect it right here. So that's our anode, and this is our this is our cathode. I'm using a paper clip right here. I'm just gonna connect it just there. There we go. And then we're gonna plug in our power supply. And if the water wasn't so murky, you would see the the clamp begin to bubble up. The reason I'm using a paper clip right here. It's because I actually, um, the, my practice run, I submerged the other end of this clip right here in, in the solution, and it absolutely destroyed it. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave this in here, and then we'll be back in like an hour or so. A quick note, I decided, um, this is gonna be like a f first part in a series on electrochemistry. So we're gonna do this first and then we'll explore um, other cells. We're gonna maybe explore HHO cells, uh, chlorate cells, and a few other piece of shit. The fuck kind of animal was that? Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna explore chlorate cells, HHO cells, and a few other shits. And if I think of any other cells that I may explore, then I'll try those as well. And any other experiments. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. We're going to check on it. I mean, you pull this up, look at the electrode. Kind of disgusting. You can pretty much tell that there's something going on. But barely. Is it still going? Looks like it actually. <laughs> I think our electrode is just too fucked. So I'm, uh, 
I'm gonna go wash off this electrode and we'll try again. And so there we go again. You can kind of see it bubbling right there. And the thing we're trying to remove all the rust from. So we're gonna leave it here for another while. So uh, I'm not actually so convinced that this is fucking working. But uh, maybe it is. There's a bunch of iron oxide down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just going to boil this water down and then I'm just going to see what we can do from there. So uh, after a stupidly long time, well, it's clean now. There's still a little bit of rust on there, but that can, uh, that can just be wa wiped off. And here we have our, our stuff. My paper clip fell in, so just ignore that. What I want to do is I want to boil all of this down. So, fuck. Um, I'm gonna have to do this in batches of 500 milliliters, sadly. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna get to boiling this down now. I'll come back when I'm done. So I managed to get the solution down quite a bit. Let me just check the temperature of this really quick. It's getting there. So uh, I decided I'm going to add it all into this five gallon bucket right here and I'm going to be right back. So I poured it all into the five gallon bucket and I'm doing the filtration right here right now. So right here we're still filtering off this, uh, this iron oxide water. catching it on the filter. Now that our filtration's done, we can just take this thing off with the... Off of the, the funnel. Piss. There we go. Set that right there. Give me a second. So now we're just going to let the thing dry. We have to heat it up. Convert all the iron hydroxides to iron, ox <coughs> iron oxides. The iron hydroxides to iron oxides. But first we have to let all the water evaporate off. And we can scrape it off into a beaker and heat it up. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.